Looks like we don't have the little animation working yet. So it's probably a little JavaScript that they have going on that we haven't pulled in. We can do that at the end. Let's just go and finish out kind of like the main page mockup here. So we have another component here. We have the banner component. Let's again, let's grab the markup for it. And this whole section starts here. Edit. And copy. And we called this one the banner. So we file banner.svelt. And let's paste this information in. Again, this is going to be replaced by information from our components. So we'll come up here and we'll give it a script tag. And export let. And let's see what we have for our banner component. Oops. Move this over. Our banner component JSON has just a title and an image. So that's easy. Title, image. Make sure that's a comma. And down here, we're going to replace the title. Place this section here. And we'll put our title there. And then down here, we'll put the other image here. So let's just get rid of all this. It will be assets plus the image, and it wants alt text. Again, this should probably come from the, the data source, to be honest. You could hard code it here, but if you ever want to use this component again for something else, you would want to just get that from your data source, which is going to change, versus this template, which should be somewhat consistent. So I'll come over here, and in the banner, I'm going to add. I think it'd be better to make this an object, to be honest. So make the image an object that has a URL key and that's shows the image and then it also has alternative text and the image is of um, I'm gonna say people doing different marketing activities and okay and then fields has to be, or image has to be closed off rather. Okay, so we'll save that. Come back to our banner. Our banner now has image.url nested inside of it. And then alt is going to be the image.alt. And we just have to spell this correctly. Okay, so we'll save that. And then we know that we're gonna have to have that image. So let's come and let's save this image right here. So I'm going to save image as screenshot.svg. It's not a great name, but that's what we use. So we'll save that on the desktop. And let's copy it over. So screenshot goes into the assets folder. And I don't need that open. Let's come back and reload. OK, so that's there. That's at the bottom. We're getting really close. So now we have the um, call to action block. Let's inspect this. And let's make sure we got the whole section here. So it looks like this is the section for the call to action. We'll edit as HTML. Get the whole thing. Come back, we'll add a new component. And we're calling it, I think we just call it cta.svelte. And we'll paste the code there. Fix some of the formatting here. And we'll pull in the values for the CTA. So again, we're going to need script. And we'll need an export let. And then the data source keys. Whoops. Do I need banner open? Probably close out a lot of these old ones here. So 
in our CTA, we have title, body, image, title, body, image, and we can start changing this. So ready to get started is the title. This is the body, so I can come here and body. And then, what do we have a link to? Let's see. Title, body, image. I think we have a link as well that we might have forgot. So there's title, body, image, link. So let's add a link field here. link and the link will be an object with a URL and I think this is going to the contact page so this will just simply be contact and it also has a title or text we'll call, I think we've been calling it title so we'll keep with that but we can call it text and it just says contact us okay so we'll save that come back over to our CTA Make sure that we have image and then we want link. And it just highlights to show that these are not being used yet, but we're gonna use them right now. So our link is going to be put in here. This will be our link dot URL. And this one will be our link dot type. And we still have our image up here, so our image is going to be assets image dot URL. Let's see here. Do we add alt text? So we have image URL. Huh. So image size. So I think I I think I might have thought this was the link. I might have got these kind of confused as I, I can see now that I, I did. So this should actually uh, image should have a URL and the URL for this image. Let's take a look. It's going to be cta.svg. CTA.svg. And instead of the title, we're going to have alternative text tag. So alt tag will say two people building a web. Page. Okay, we can save that, come back over, and let's fix this. So we have image URL, and we have to have our alt equals image dot alt. Now we can save that, and let's save this image first. So save image as cta.svg on the desktop. And we'll come back over here and we'll just upload that. So CTA will go in the assets folder. Okay, that should rebuild the site. We'll come back over and let's reload this again. Okay, so this is getting pretty close. Looks very similar to, to this. 